Hello, it's me, Antoinette. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I practice. So it's consequently it's called how to practice like a pro. Um, so we're going to start off by just getting some scrap paper. I'm going to use a smaller piece of paper because it's easier for me to frame it. Um, but, you know, use just a regular size piece of paper like the one that I just had. Um, scrap is great because you know, you're just practicing. You're not doing anything that's going to be spectacular that you're going to want to be able to show to all your friends. Although, you know, I mean, if your friends are henna artists, then you probably do want to show them, you know, so you can show how fantastic you are at practicing. So anyways, um, I'm using not a heat sealed cone, but a rolled cone and it has a paint in it and not henna um, because I didn't have any henna with me when I decided that I was going to make this video. So anyways, I'm going to show you um, how I have a tendency to practice um, when I'm practicing on paper. So I always start off by making straight lines and this is where you practice your draping or you practice your speed, you practice your um, consistency of line width uh, and it's very important to do it at a speed that is good for you. So if it's a little bit slower that's great, if it's a little bit faster that's great. I usually will make a full sheet, a line after line after line after line, and I want them to be even. So every single line is the same width from the other. So I'll make, sometimes I'll go a whole sheet, sometimes I'll do a half sheet, sometimes I'll do four or five. And then either I let that dry or, you know, if I do like four, like I've done here, then I, I don't let it dry. But if I do a whole sheet, I'll let that dry and then I'll go back to it later or not. Um, maybe I'll make another sheet. But in, but in any case, um, doing the straight lines is great to give you a framework for your practice. When you have these straight lines, you can do just about anything. So from here, now I'm going to try, I'm going to start doing um, um, humps. Humps are a very uh, common, straightforward um, design element that we use a lot as henna artists. So I'm just going to pick a size and then I'm just going to go along and I'm going to try as slow as I need to to make every single one of these humps exactly the same. Now obviously it's been a couple of days since I practiced because they aren't exactly the same but they're close. You're really trying for perfection as much as possible. And so I will go all the way across like that with just ba -da 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 Then when I'm done with the whole line, I will go down to the next line and I will do the same thing but from the other side. Because when you're working on somebody's hand, you don't get to choose whether or not that design element is going to be, you know, I mean if it's if it's the flow of the of the piece of work, it's going to be backwards, forwards, upside down, right side up, left, right, north, south, east, west. It's, it's just, you know, you have to be able to do every single one of your movements um, in any direction. So, and then I will, you know, I'll start doing humps coming from the outside instead of going along that way, I'll do it from the outside back in. Yeah, see how that one's smaller than the other ones? That wasn't good. And then I'll do the same way this side. Okay. Humps. Backwards, forwards, upside down, right side up. And then make them bigger. Now practice this side. Now, and when I mean by like, you know, now stop, no. When I do this, I will do four or five in a row of one direction and then four or five in a row of the other direction and then four or five in a row. So it isn't like I'm doing here. I'm just demonstrating examples of how you can make that work. Um, if your lines are equidistant, if, if your lines are, are, you know, equal with the part, it makes it really a lot easier to see your, you know, like I can tell that this line actually wasn't totally spot on because I know that this line of the tops of these humps is relatively okay but right here it's starting to get really close so it makes it a lot easier for you to visualize why oh, this is a mess okay so you know I'll do several rows of them that size and then I'll do several rows of them this size 
And again, coming from the other side. Ooh, and I'm much better at it. And you will find this. You will be much better at it going from one direction than the other. Um, and then also, do it from the top. If you have room, do it on the line above it. If you don't, start it on the next one down. So you just do hump after hump after hump after hump, okay? And then backwards, and then upside down, and forwards, and everything. Same thing goes with teardrops. Find a middle point and an ending point, which is going to be your line. That gives you a really great start and stop so that you can practice making those teardrops uniform every single time. Same thing with going up. So these are all things that you can do with a line. You can also do some basic shapes, like an onion dome. Again, trying to make them absolutely uniform, unlike me. And then from the top, you can cheat. You go all the way up to the top. Ha ha ha. Right? So those are things that you can do with lines. You just, you know, and you're going to have another line down here and another line down there and another line, you know, just see and make sure that your lines are, I've got a clog. Make sure that your lines are even. Make, ah, what's going on with this thing? There we go. Make sure that your lines are even. Make sure that they are uniform. And then try doing them really, really, really slow. See what happens to your line. Try doing them a lot faster. Practice with lines. And then, there's dots. Pick a nice size of dot and then just go all the way across the page with the dots. And then do it again with the larger size dot. Put more pressure into it. Make sure that they are uniform, uniformly spaced from each other. Do it with a smaller dot. And then do it with gradation dots. Smaller and then come back again. And then go across and across and across. Or up and down, you know, do it again, but do it this way. Even if it's doing the same thing, if you're doing it in a di different direction, it makes your brain do different things and it, and it will, you know, it'll change the way that you see the designs. Um, and then do some free flowing practice. You know, so like, do chains of teardrops or, um, you know, do, you know, you have a particular element that you put into your designs a lot, practice that over and over again. Go all the way across. And make an effort to go all the way across. Don't just do, you know, six of them and then stop. Do the whole page and then stop. And even if, you know, I mean... If you don't have enough time to do, uh, you know, 20 lines of it, even just, but make sure that you go all the way across because just doing six of them, you don't have to move your hand. To do more of them, you have to keep on moving your hand, moving your hand, moving your anchor point. Um, sometimes if I have a lot of stuff going on down here, I will then go back up to unused space and, you know, and then use my anchor point, use my pinky to, um you know, to anchor my hand away from my wet paint or wet henna. Um, you know, and then practice circles. The main thing is, you know, pick something that you're going to practice and then just make sure that it is as, as even and symmetrical and perfect as you can get it. Just over and over and over and over again. Right? Practice your swirls. Find an element that you want to work on and just practice, practice, practice. 
I say that over and over again. I get people asking me all the time, how is it that you make blah, blah, blah? What is, you know, how did you, how did you do that so great and everything? And I just say, you know what? It's practice. I've been doing this for 13 years. You learn over time how to, how to do it. And by practicing, you just perfect it. And then it gets better and better and better. And your the quality of your work, I promise you, will improve. So there you go. Practice like a pro.